It's always great to come to Grey Gums Cafe. You run into old mates, you have a look at the bands playing. You know, it's something you should do. And the ride up here was great. We had a great ride. Didn't fall off, always good. And the rains, it's managed to hold off. The sky may have been a little grey, but it wasn't enough to stop over 60 dedicated all-weather bikers join a group ride from Windsor to the Grey Gum Cafe. They were entertained by their Guardian Redeemers and enjoyed a great meal on arrival, which is what we've all come to expect and enjoy from a visit to this great motorcycle-friendly destination. What I always like about coming up here is just seeing Kim uh, getting a burger, catching up with like-minded people, and these are the things that will keep Kim's business in business. To be quite frank, this morning when I woke up in Cronulla, it was pouring down rain, I thought, oh, geez, I hope this thing's cancelled. But I'm, I'm glad that I'm here, because, you know, that's what it's about. Like, I ride a motorbike every day to work, and I love doing that, but I don't go on big rides with other people. I don't seem to do that as much that's anymore. That's because you fall off. Well, yes, thank you, Kim. I don't <laughs> think we need to say that. Don't need to talk about my, uh, my accident record. It was not only a fantastic day of catching up with mates, but of supporting a great venue and a staff that is dedicated to our motorcycling community. Kim, how's things going here at Grey Gums? We've got a bit of a turnout, managed to get a, a, a bunch of these guys to ride up in the wet. I it's know, nice. which is amazing. Um, I, thought, I thought there'd be no one here, but, no. <laughs> um, but you're all very loyal and well, true to me, and uh, I'm very lucky to be that way. The, the thing about this place I've always found, it's a great destination ride. The putty road is always great for me, coming from Cronulla to here, it's a, it's a nice ride. If, but you also, if you don't fall off. If you don't, you know. <laughs> yeah, of course, that's a given. To come here along and you just buy a burger and some chips and maybe get a beer, you know, a mid-strength or a Coca-Cola. But, but it's about the patriots, isn't it? This is what keeps us around. Oh, and absolutely. it's not looking good uh, financially for you guys because it takes a bit to run this place, but you need people to come along here. Yeah, well, look, we've been through floods, <laughs> three floods, bushfires, um, COVID. Pandemic, yeah. Yeah, uh, we've been through all of that. And um, it, it's taken its toll. Yeah. And the, the patronage hasn't come back um, in that midweek we're closed. But you can weather, you can weather that but the council gives you a bit of grief as well, just about certain things that you're doing on your property, which I seem, you know, you're just explaining it to me, like say, for example, if we look over there, the difference between a gazebo and a- Hexagonal structure. A, and a hexagonal structure. You know, this is the country that built the Harp Bridge. I just don't understand what's the big deal. So who do, who do, we, talk, who do we have to talk to, to to get off your back about this stuff? Because I can't see that that is the end of the world. What's not being weighed up here is the good that we are contributing to A, the motorcycle community, the grey nomads, against a couple of misdemeanours. Mm. Well, was... Council should just sign off on it. Yeah, well, I should. <laughs> wouldn't like the easier. So the misdemeanours you talk about are pretty much the difference between a canvas roofed gazebo mm. and a hexagonal structure. Yeah, and a stage that's a cubby house. I'm in the process of getting a, a building or an instruction certificate for the the canopy that I've put yeah. over, okay. over there. Okay. But it's, I mean, everything that we do is about safety. Yeah, of course. And this is like, a, you know, it's just a great destination. And it would be a shame. I mean, do they really want you guys riding from Windsor to Singleton without stopping? Yeah. The aforementioned falling off. Yeah. And it hurt, I can't fall off anymore. It hurts too much. <laughs> but look, really, I, I think... What, what we're looking at is like patronage, people, if you're not doing anything on a nice weekend, come and ride to Grey Gums Cafe. Yep. And secondly, come on council, you know, just stop it. It's not like you're putting the Taj Mahal up here. That's not like I'm doing anything wrong. Like, I'm not doing anything wrong. I can't see, I can't see anything wrong that I'm, I'm doing. All I see is right, not wrong. Yeah, I'm hungry, I could eat something. <laughs> let's go. Well, let's go, eat something. <laughs> Brotherhood CMC teamed up with Righteous CMC to put on a show and shine. There was a great variety of makes and models, so the judges had a tough assignment in choosing the winners. It's always hard to uh, pick a bike, isn't it? There's a nice looking ultra up there, ridden by an enigmatic guy that came in. I didn't give his name, it was pretty cool. I'd be too scared to go near him though, I think. Look at the Springer. So they don't make these anymore. I don't know, it's always hard to pick one, isn't it? It was an important day 
to find out some of the struggles faced by the Grey Gum Cafe so that we could better understand how we could support Kim, Will and the team. We can't help the council. The council at Singleton are, are acting like council people and at the moment they're just giving Kim all bits of grief and so really I, I just think if we can't combat that we can combat by showing up here. So uh, perhaps, I don't know, if we can do this again maybe a, an annual ride at the very least or just even if you're on your schedule, you just get your mates together or your club and you just say, you know what, we might ride up to Grey Gums, we'll do that on such and such a day. And if we do that, like every couple of months or something, then Kim will be around. Yes, I will. I'm not going anywhere anyway. If you do get a chance, Kim would certainly appreciate if you come up here to Grey Gums. You might run into someone you know, like me.